Because think about the multiplication here. Cosine of x, and if I use the reciprocal identity, now again, I don't want to use, um, and then if I write this as sine of x over cosine of x, those divide out, and you guys can see that that is just equal to sine of x. right? But again, be careful. Not always is this always the way. Like for instance, you know, for in, like again, let's let me just do another example real quick. What if it was cotangent of x times tangent of x? Now you could rewrite these in terms of sines and cosines, but could you also just understand this as cotangent of x times one over tangent? Oh, I'm sorry, one over cotangent of x, right? So don't always do tangent as sine over cosine. A lot of times that is helpful. But sometimes just thinking of tangent as 1 over cotangent makes you see that you could like simplify it another way. right? So just be careful. You want to make sure you keep your eyes open to different identities, because there's a lot of them that we had. Not one, one that might have worked for one problem might not be the best route for another problem. And that's why this chapter gets confusing for a lot of students, because I can't just tell you what to do every single time. You have to learn how to work through these. So it really is one of those practice, practice, practice. Yes.